So this is actually a question from one of the earliest viewers here on the channel. Lord Warship, appreciate you. I'm pretty sure he started watching on day five, which is insane to me. But the question was, what's your thoughts on community expectations that the price will increase to 0.001 after Shibarium in terms of Shiba Inu? And I think this is worth a discussion. You know, a lot of people have really high expectations. They think that right out of the gate, we are just going to absolutely moon in terms of price. And I think it's important that we temper our expectations a little bit and remain realistic. What people need to realize is that we are still in a bear market that has not changed. Obviously, BTC is actually held over 30K. I think the bar is a little bit higher now for, for the next bull market cycle. But, you know, the market conditions are improving. And I think that is a key point. But Shiba Inu is to the, to the point right now where it's not going to, to surge like this just at this time. You need that capital inflow. You need that huge adoption at this time. While I do think there is going to be a FOMO, when Shibarium does go live, people are going to be, you know, scrambling to try to accumulate because they know that now burns are, in fact, implemented into every single transaction. And, you know, as the ecosystem grows, there's going to be huge optics, which is bringing even further adoption. There's all these things that are obviously going to benefit the price of Shiba Inu long term. But I think that it's more of a, a long term outlook when we talk about prices like that. Realistically, my expectations are the max we would probably pump to is four zeros two. Now, the reason I say that is if we look at earlier this year, we can see that Shiba Inu went on a rip-roaring run along with the rest of the market, right? It actually got to the heights of 4016. And that was actually at times where I would argue the market conditions are, uh, they were a little worse than we we're at now. Obviously, we have you know higher rates, but what you have to remember is that inflation is flat, the market is stronger. And I think that Shiba Inu could get a, a little more legs here. Now, at the same time, I'm not going to be disappointed if we don't pump to that level, right? Because that's obviously it would be a high for the year. It'd be actually a 25% higher than the high we've seen this year, okay? It'd be great news for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. I get that. I 100% understand that. And I know that there will be people chasing that sold that were like, oh, no, why did I sell my bag? I have to get some Shiba Inu back. But we have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of levels to try to push through here. Obviously, we know about this big range and this, you know, four, five zeros, eight through the four zeros, one zero level. And then four zeros, one, two is big resistance. We know that four zeros, one, four is resistance. So there's these levels that we have to fight through. And once we get to, <clears throat> if we get to four zeros, two, you know, there's going to be some, some selling. In fact, you know, if we go on like this, this massive run, like we keep following this trend line, right? And then we just shoot up here. Just imagine how fast we're going to come down from there. That's the thing you got to remember. We'd probably come back. We'd probably float around here. We'd float back down to here. I mean, that that could be a realistic, you know, expectation of, of what to see at this time. Now, again, this is not financial advice. This is not guarantees. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. We could go on a massive run. I think we get a little more tempered of a pump at this time. And that's okay. The game is always long-term mindset anyways. What you have to realize is we want healthy price appreciation. I'd be okay seeing, you know, three to 5% a day over the course of several months. That would be a lot more sustainable. It would, you know, limit the downside we'd see as far as pullbacks go. You know, yes, it'd be fun. It'd be exciting to watch, a, you know, 500% run. <laughs> I think I did my math wrong. That's not 500%, <laughs> a 200% run, but I, I want this, I want us to succeed, right? I want us to have sustained growth. I want the ecosystem to not get dumped on, right? Because it'd be a bad experience for people to be on a, a run, you know, the top side of a run to four zeros two, and then experience a 50% pullback immediately after that. So that's just my expectations for this. I think it's going to be more long-term, you know, price appreciation, but We'll obviously just have to wait and see. It's going to be an exciting time. There are many launches still coming this year. And we'll obviously just have to wait and see how it all plays out. But I appreciate you guys. Great question. Let me know your guys' thoughts below. Let me know where you think we could end up running to when Shibarium does in fact go live. I'm talking about like the few weeks, you know, one or two weeks after the fact. But appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.